start and you have to start somewhere. I just don't think. Okay, it's... guys, great advice all around, but I've lived with this man for seven years. I think I know how to handle this. Dad, family meeting? Sophie, honey, please do not worry about me. I am going to be fine. Plus, I learned a valuable lesson. Which is? Stick to what I know. Is it for my sake? Have I been holding you back? What? Sophie? No way. I would not trade all these years at home with you for anything in the world. I'm giving up because I don't have what it takes to be a primetime weather anchor. I just don't have the zazz. I'm thinking of heading to the park later this afternoon. What boots do you think I should wear? That's a very abrupt subject, Jenny. What just happened? Indulge me. Okay, well, if you're really going, uh, it rained yesterday, so there's definitely going to be mud. So I'm thinking boots with a bit red. I'd say something rubber, just in case that precipitation comes back. And now I'm thinking windbreaker, something with a hood. Like, Dad, are you hearing yourself? Yeah, I was just about to ramp up on Gore-Tex and go deep on dude. Right, because your dad's skills include delivering a weather forecast every day to me. Well, yeah, but I just want you to know what you're in for. And I do, because every morning when I'm picking up my boots, you do a full 15 minutes on wind speeds, humidity, what time I should expect the sunset. And all that could be boring, but with you it's not. You make it fun and interesting and weird. Why don't you just do that in your audition? Can't you just be you? Fun fact, hasn't been this hot since June 1990. Temps soared to 112 hot. You're doing that to touch. Uh, that's all for now. You stay cool, LA. I'm Will Coop with your weather scoop. Back to you. Daddy, I'm so proud of you. You were great, Daddy. I felt that great. Good job. High praise. How was the hair? We're close. It's getting there. That was really nice. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tracy. Thank you so much for letting me come and do this in person. Well, you barged in, so I didn't really have a choice. But I liked what I saw. Well, I couldn't have done it without my team. We got Rory guiding the performance, Miggy on hair, Poppy lead me in, and uh, Sophie. I pretty much couldn't do anything without Sophie. Oh. <sighs> Aww. You know none of these people can come to work with you every day. Not a problem. Two of them have school. She runs a business. Miggy would probably come. Yes, for you. Wait. I got the job? Yes, you are KZOP's newest substitute weatherman. Sunday mornings, as needed, 5 to 7 a.m. Your audience will mostly be cuts. Who's the controls? Uh, um, that sounds awesome. <laughs> oh, man, Willie Cooper coming to a city near you. Well, it's only L.A., and you'll barely be on TV. Okay, stay in put for a select group. I'm honored. Willie <laughs> Cooper! But seriously, no, you can never come to work. Okay, it's like ever. Okay, smile. This is the original uncut Mr. Senorita. Huh. Oh, it's 43 minutes long. I'm not watching that. Hey. 43. Hey, congrats on your new job. Thanks. Congrats on the new stash. I'm glad you finally made it through puberty. Funny. You know, I heard there's an audition tape of you floating around where you're real bitchy about, right? Good luck finding the pink panther. We got this for you. <laughs> We're sorry, Graham. Is this actually happening? Am I cool? You're right about that whole pack thing. I've actually always looked at myself as a lone wolf. Well, for better or worse, you've got us, and God forbid something ever happens.